Well, it was another hot and sticky day across the area. Some places are a little cooler than others where it has rained. As we take a look at your temperatures, we've got 76 right now in Statesboro, where it's just been cooled off there by a thunderstorm. Elsewhere, it's still uh, near 90 in Metter and 90 in Baxley. A couple of these spots, you still could see a pop-up thunderstorm. Usually that happens where it's still the hottest and we, as we head through the early evening away from the coast. The sea breeze is protecting the coastal counties. So anywhere from Brunswick to Savannah to Beaufort, you're not going to see a shower or storm this evening. But further west, we still have some scattered showers and thunder out there. As we zoom in to Candler and Bullock counties near Metter, we see a area of heavy rain pushing north, also off to the east of there. And near and around Statesboro, we have some heavy showers. And there are occasionally some lightning strikes that we are tracking there off to the west and northeast of Statesboro. Again, there's nothing severe out there, but you may hear some rumbles of thunder. And anytime you hear thunder and got heavy rain, it's best to just head inside and, of course, avoid the lightning. Further south, we have some showers and thunder over in Jeff Davis County, including Hazelhurst and Denton. Look at the lightning tracker there showing some strikes more towards the western edge of the county as activity pushes off to the north and to the northwest. Overall, as we head towards sunset, most showers or storms will be diminishing as we lose daytime heating. We still got a system spinning out to the west here in this counterclockwise motion and east of that the flow is up out of the south and that's bringing up the high humidity that's combining with our daytime heating to give us some of those afternoon showers and storms. As we look at what we're tracking heading through tomorrow, we're going to have a similar setup. Showers and thunder go away quickly this evening. Tomorrow afternoon there's that next chance getting pushed inland again by the sea breeze. Then on Saturday, it looks like there still will be enough moisture around to give us a chance for some mainly afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Then we're looking at some drier air pushing in on Sunday, and that should take the rain chances down to our south and should actually help to make it feel a little more comfortable at the end of the weekend because the temperature should be slightly lower and humidity will be dropping some as well. For tomorrow, it will be similar to today. We'll start off not far from 70 under partly cloudy skies. It'll be a sticky day with an average high of 90, except cooler on the beaches. And again, in the afternoon, we'll have a chance for a shower storm, again, away from the beach. Your tides will include a high tide at 930 tonight. Out on the water, still good boating weather the next couple of days. The seas only up to about two feet and rain chances will be west of the water. But on Sunday, the seas will increase to three to four feet because of wind change to the east. So as the land areas get more pleasant, it'll be a little more unpleasant out there for boating on Sunday. Your latest pollen report showing that mold is still up into the high range. And let's take a look at your storm tracker seven day forecast and it's a sticky one into the beginning of the weekend. But then we see a little bit lower humidity come in on Sunday and Monday and our highs drop a bit too. So it will feel a little more pleasant. Lows at night will be down to the mid to upper 60s.